So now we've got x minus 4 all squared plus x plus 4 times x minus 4 all over 2x, right? So um, there's a few steps to this, and we have to be careful. So we're going to um, take this guy and uh, square it. And just be careful, because it's not just x squared minus 16. You actually have to expand it out like that. You actually have to go x minus 4 times x minus 4. Right? And you got to multiply the x's in, x times x, x times negative 4. So x squared minus 4x. And then you got to multiply this negative 4. So this is our double distributive property that we went over. So minus 4x, negative 4 times negative 4 plus 16. Right? And then similarly, we're going to take our time on this one. This is x plus 4 times x minus 4, right? So, and again, I'm just working on the top here. I'm ignoring the dividing by 2x. I'm just, I'm just going to work on the top of the fraction. I'm just going to simplify the top first of all, right? So, x times x gives me um, x squared. Um, x times negative 4 gives me minus 4x. Um, 4 times x gives me plus 4x, and 4 times negative 4 gives me minus 16, okay? So then what do we do with this plus sign, right? Well, that plus sign is just, well, put it there. So it's this thing, the x minus 4 squared plus this thing, right? And because it's plus, we don't really have to, it's not like subtracting where you have to distribute a negative or anything. Like you, it's plus one and you can multiply everything by one, but that's the same. It's just this plus this. And so now we can just start adding like terms, right? So I've got a 1x squared here and a 1x squared here. Let's start there, right? So 2x squared. Okay. Um, yes, I got 2x squared. And then minus 12x. Yeah, close. So um, these guys over oh. here is this is a negative 4x plus 4x. So that makes nothing. That's zero, right? So they're actually gone out of the picture altogether. It's like 4x minus 4x, no x. They're zero. It's, it's gone, right? Um, yeah. Negative 4x minus 4x, though, it's like I'm in debt $4. I spend $4. I'm in debt by $8, right? Make sense? Yeah. Um, and um, the 16s, I guess. So we've got a plus 16 minus 16. So that's also zero. So they're gone, right? So the whole thing worked out nicely because now we just have 2x squared minus 8x. So, and again, I just want to write, like, I'm just simplifying the top here, just simplifying the top, right? And I end up with this. And, but it was all divided by 2x. It was all divided by 2x. So it's, it's this all over 2x, right? Because the top is simplified, and these guys are not like terms. Like So you're, you have to get it. That's as far as you can get with the top, but it's all divided by 2x. And on the test, I see a lot of students, like, they'll mess it up from here. And yet we've done so many of these already, right? So everyone, please press pause and do this yourself, and then I'll go over it. Perfect. All right. So I'm just going to finish it up here real quick for anyone watching from home. Um, I encourage you all to write this as 2xx all over 2x, 
uh, minus 8x all over 2x. And then that will allow you all to cross cancel a bit because the 2s cross cancel, the x's cross cancel, leaving us with 1 times 1 times x over 1 or just x minus. And now the 2s cross cancel, the and 2 into uh, 8 goes 4 times, and the x's cross cancel, leaving us with 4 times 1 over 1 times 1, which is just 4. And so we just have x minus 4, and that's the answer.